Did the Wisconsin game, the way he played the Wisconsin game, tell you that that is in there? Was that maybe even more frustrating trying to get it back out there? Well, I think, I think we all thought that, okay, this is him, he's back. Then he had a couple bumps in the road after that. That was, I think, going back to Pat's question, kind of when you're like, wait a minute, you know, is, is, he, is he back or isn't he back? But uh, we had a talk about 10 days ago. He said, now just tell me exactly what you need me to do. I, I just want to make, and I, and I told him, I said, you have to, I am not going to put you in a starting lineup. I am not going to play you the minutes that you want until you commit to stopping your man and then making good decisions and pushing the ball in a break and doing it consistently and effectively with, with great effort. He said, okay, all right, I'll do it. And he's been doing it. You played, uh, you played four games in nine days, and, and your effort still seemed strong, didn't seem fatigued today. Do you feel like the team's, how do you think the team's performing? Like I think, you know, I was really concerned. I mean, the game the other night was, was pretty intense. And then you've got, you've got an afternoon game today. You know, we, we didn't have a day off, Thursday, Friday, okay. How hard did we go yesterday? Because the game's at 2, we're practicing at 3. I wait till school's over. You know, and then the 86, 87 team shows up for practice. You know, what's our focus going to be? How hard do I push them? But I thought, I thought they were pretty good in terms of being professional and locking into the game plan and working hard. I didn't keep them out there forever, but we, we went hard. I mean, we went hard the last the last two days because they do some things with their press, and you know they do some things with changing defenses, and they do some things with their rebounding and, and, and how they defend. If we didn't get them ready for that, it wouldn't matter if we had fresh legs. So they were going to play hard today. I was pretty sure of it, and they'll get a deserved, well-deserved day off tomorrow. When you look at the coming off last week, we lose to Nebraska at home. Give up 103 to Indiana, you know, you maybe wondered where this team was going to go. But to look back now and get two wins this week, that kind of says something. Well, I think it does. But, you know, I, I go back to this. You know, the Nebraska game, we played pretty well in that game for a lot of the game. You know, a lot of people thought we were going to win. We had the lead. You know, they made three or four plays at the end we didn't make. That was unfortunate. But I respect Nebraska. I respect their players. And they have some good players that make good plays. Indiana, offensively, we're pretty good. Score 89 points, shoot 80% in the second half. We executed our break. We executed our offense. We scored. They're a lot bigger than we are. All right, so disappointed in the rebounding, disappointed in, in the defense. But, uh, you know, it's not everything's awful. There were good things in that game. Okay, what do we have to correct? We've got to correct the defense. We've got to get on the glass. And the other stuff is good, you know, and, and, and stay positive so that they don't get beaten down and feel like, oh, we just lost two games. And we lost two good teams. I mean, we just beat two good teams. We got another good team coming up Thursday night. There's been a lot of ups and downs over the course of the year for your team and a lot of other teams in the league. How do you use that momentum from these past two games to, to spur into next Thursday? Well, we're not going to really change a lot in terms of how we approach game prep for Northwestern. As you know, it's a very unique prep. Anytime you're playing Billy, I mean, in the Princeton stuff, uh, and he's done some things with it you know, for his team. It's really made it. Difficult to stop. You know, we played them here last year. They made 16 threes. They made 14 the other night when they beat Nebraska. So we got to lock in to what they do, how they do it, and then do the things that we think will be successful at the offensive end, and then rebound and, and those types of things. But I think we're going down there with, with a legitimately, you know, a pretty high confidence level in terms of how we're playing. Uh, but I think we have great respect for you know, what they've done, where they are. They've got some great wins, you know, certainly you know, beating Michigan State was, was a great win for them. It shows what they're capable of doing. You think so, you're getting more consistency now? Well, I do. I, I think we are. I thought, you know, it was great to get Eric May back, gave us, you know, 12 quality minutes. Uh, you know, still need to get Malson going a little bit. You got, you know, we got his six points. That's great. But we uh, need a little more rebounding from him. And then we got to figure out, you know, with Archie and Brommer and, and all the scenery, but you know, I'm able to rotate Basabi, White, and McKay, but I'm able to rotate Gatons, Oglesby, Eric May, Marvel, and Bryce. So we've got a pretty good nucleus there of, of smalls and bigs. But at some point in time, we're going to need to 
the, the five men to, to come in and give us the quality minutes that Archie and Brommer and Gabe have given us at some point in time. One more, see the start one more team, question. You see the start your team had on both ends of the floor. How satisfying is that to watch as a coach? Well, I, I think the one thing we recognized in the second half was the first four minutes are going to be critical when you have a 17 point lead. I mean, if you're on the other end and that thing goes from 17 to 10, it's a completely different game. So you want to come out with the right mindset and get a lead. And you want to come out in the second half and get it past 20, and that's what we did. And I thought that was really you know, a key part of the game. Thank you.